Alright, how you doing? I'm back again with another Power Rangers review and today I will be doing the first of my Power Rangers Zeo Zord reviews and I will be doing in this review the Zeo Megazord. Now, I'll give a little backstory on how Zeo started. When Master Val was over at Lord Zed's palace, he couldn't destroy the Rangers so what he did was he turned the Rangers into children. And then what happened was they lost their ninja coins, they were destroyed by Goldar. You know, they tried to invent a machine that would change them back to adults again and Goldar came down and destroyed it. So the ninja coins were destroyed and um, the rangers were sent on quests to get the uh, Zeo crystal. Because when they had, when they found the Zeo crystal originally they had split it up into five sub uh, subdivisions. So they sent Tommy, Aisha, Rocky, Adam and uh, oh, what's her name? Cat to get this get the sub crystals. Now Billy didn't go because he was transformed into an adult. So, so basically the Alien Rangers uh, took charge while this was happening, and then of course Goldar and Alpha, or Goldar and Reno found their way under the command center and uh, planted planted explosives and blew up the command center, and that's where Mighty Morphin from Power Rangers left uh, left off. And then Zeo began, where the Rangers had found the Zeo Crystal in the rubble of the command center, and then the Zeo Crystal brought them under the under the power under the command center, where they found the power chamber where Alpha and Zordon were there. So and then this later became the new base of the Power Rangers. So it was called the Power Chamber instead of the command center. And while this was happening, an evil force called the Machine Empire came down and forced Lord Zed and Rita. To move out of the moon base, they had the, they were being fired at. They went out on another serpent terra, and serpent terra flew away. And um, so basically, that's how Zeo started. And this was the first set of swords they had for Zeo. Now, I had this, I had this mega sword whenever I was younger, and um, it was a favorite of mine. It's a really nice mega sword to have. So it is. They're very detailed. Like for example on the Sphinx, Bull and uh, Phoenix, you'll see like the cockpit. So basically that's a little backstory and now I will uh, show you what they do in Zord mode. Now if you take Zero Zord 1 and Zero Zord 2 and Zero Zord 3 and Zero Zord 4, they link up as they're coming out and in Zero Zord 1 and um, Zero Zord 2 they have ropes. Now these are chains on the um, Japanese version of the toy. So they are. Now just give me a wee minute to I set this up. See with the uh, Zero Zero Two, you pull this down and ropes come out. And there's holes in the Sphinx and bull. And there's one there too. Uh, there. And uh, basically, they go here. It's a really one. And there you go. Let's show my side. Of it. And there you have that. Every time Zeo, every time they call for the Zeo Megazord, this is how they would come out with the uh, Phoenix up there flying. So I'll just turn them around again. And whenever they were in this form, I don't know if. Um, the Sphinx or Taurus the Bull uh, attacked. I think they did, I'm not sure. But the Arsenal did. Zero Zord 1 had rockets, five rockets on each side, and Zero Zord 2 had two big cannons. And plus, Zero Zord 1 had a big gun here, and I think these were guns too. So, and then the Phoenix would just fly like this. So, that's all they did in their Zord mode. So, go transform the Knight into the Megazord. So, you uncouple the 
the uh, the chains and all the ropes, but I'm going to call them chains because that's what they were in the show. Just got to be about it, I put the chains away. Okay, that's, the, that's the chains away, so basically what you do is you take the sword one, you remove the battle helmet, and you squeeze the guns in, and at the top here you flip it open. And you do the same with the sword two, take the battle helmet off, and for these ones you move the guns down, and then squeeze them in. And then you do the same for the hand, it opens up the, the bit where the, where the torso bull is going to go to make the, half, the bottom half of the mega sword. And then you take the horse the bull. Now his his helmet always stays on, unless you're using it for the megazord. And so you put the tail in, and there's two yellow buttons here. You squeeze them and push that in, and there you have the uh, the uh, the waist area of the megazord. And then to uh, transform them, you get torso the bull, and there's wee bits here and. Uh, fits on like that. You can see them with that. Uh, do the same with that, and then you take the sphinx and you strip the sphinx like that, and then you remove the battle helmet. And then what you do is you push this bit down until you hear a click, and the two feet here you push them up. And then you straighten the arms and then you just twist the fist around. You can, you can twist the whole arm around, but I just twist the fist around. It's less hassle. So you do the same for the other arm. So you have the sphinx looking like that. And then there is a, a wee connector there on towards the bull and a wee bit on the sphinx and they go together. Now you have the Zeo Megazord nearly done. Then you take the Sphinx. The Sphinx comes on last, or sorry, not the Sphinx. The um, Phoenix comes in last because that's the head. So you take this off, which later becomes the Zeo Five Battle Helmet, and um, you put put the feet up like that. Fold the wings in. Push this down and move the head. Move the head of the of the Phoenix, which reveals the head of the Megazord. Then on the back here, there's there's connector pins here where um where the uh, the head goes. So it goes in like that. Then you take Zeo's five battle helmet and it goes on here. And there you have the Zeo Megazord. Now this is a really great Megazord. As I said at the start there, I had this as a kid and it was a really great Megazord. Oh, I put out, you keep the Megazord stable, there are two things on the feet. You just push them out. And there you go. And of course now, the Zeo Megazord had five attacks. So it did, I had, I had five battle helmets and they all did different things. Now, I will explain what the Zeo 5 battle helmet does at the end. Now, Zeo 5, or Zeo 1 battle helmet, it's a big cannon. It's basically self-explanatory there. It just fires a big cannon. Just big, big gunshot. Now, Zeo Zeo's battle about Zeo battle helmet two was like a was a jetpack. I think they used it. The I think they used it to go to space on. I think it was the first episode. No, it was the, it was the third episode of Zeo where the battle helmets were were con constructed. So. That's that one. Um, Zeo, Zeo Battle Helmet 3 was telekinesis. I think I've seen it. It sort of has the power to lift, lift monsters in the air and drop them again. So I think that's all that does. And then, then you take Taurus's head, which sits there all the time, and it reveals a head. So it goes down there and it becomes, I think. With this one, it rams into them. I think, yes, that's what it does. It rams into them. So 
And then we have CO5 battle helmet. Now this one is the main battle helmet, this is the one it wears whenever it's the Zero Megazord. And of course without, without that helmet, I wouldn't be able to call the Zero Saber. So basically, there you go, there's the Zero Saber. Now that's what the Zero, that's what the Zero Megazord looks like whenever it's in normal battle and um, it would do as usual, you know, power move with the sword and destroy the monster, so that's the uh, Seal Mega Sword. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment there down below and I'll see you again. Alright, bye.